Hello, artists. Let's make a superhero. Gather your supplies and meet me back here to get started. First thing we're gonna do is create our superhero's head. You can use a letter U or a circle to get started. Once you have that down, let's add two vertical lines underneath for the neck. Next, we're gonna work on our superhero's torso, and we're going to use a rectangle to help us create that. So the torso starts from the shoulders down to the stomach. So here we have our torso, and let's use triangles to help give our superheroes arms, like we've got our superhero stance. To do that, on either side of the torso, we're gonna start with a sideways triangle, and then we're gonna add a smaller sideways triangle to create our arm. And if you would like to add hands or a fist, like on my example here, we might have to do a little bit of erasing. But think of a little Lego hand. So here's the end of my arm. I'm going to close that off and draw a letter D or a little Lego hand. And we're gonna repeat these same steps for our arm on the other side. So now we have our superhero's arms. Let's focus on the legs. We are going to use rectangles again for our superhero's legs. So I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna have my rectangle go out just a little bit so that way the legs look like they're standing open instead of closed right next to each other. And then I'm going to finish my rectangle and come almost back up to the torso, but I'm gonna leave some space. We're gonna repeat this step on the other side. So now we have our superhero's legs. Let's think about some shoes. When I think of a superhero, I think of boots. They need tough shoes so they can fight tough crime, right? So let's add some boots. And to do that, we're gonna just use the rectangles that we just created. And I'm gonna go up a little bit, add a horizontal line to both. I wanna make sure that they're the same length. And then for the toe part of our boots, so this is the toe part here over on the finished ones, we're gonna use a letter C or a sideways letter U for both sides. Whichever one helps you think of finishing your boot. Now we have this line right here. We can use our eraser to get rid of that. That part, and now our superhero has boots. So, on this superhero, I have added a cape and a mask to hide his identity, gave him some hair and a face. These are details that you can choose to add on your own. So if you're wanting to make this superhero a girl, you can do that. You can draw a skirt if you would like. So on either side of like our little superhero's legs, you could add a skirt. You don't have to, this is just an idea. Right. 
right? And then um, for the mask, I thought of the Ninja Turtles and I'm gonna add a little nose, just a little rainbow line there and I'll finish the mask on either side of the nose. And you can add a little smile. Let's not forget eyebrows. Those are important. And now you can think about if you want to add some hair, maybe some bangs. I don't know. Choice is really up to you. Maybe some pigtails. I might make this a little taller. You could give your superhero a really cool belt. Like what kind of powers does your superhero have? I don't know. I think I want her to have a cape too. So for the cape, I started on the outside of my arms because capes hang behind our person. And we need to definitely go through the legs since they're standing open and finish on the other side. And there you have it. A superhero. I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see the powers that you give your superheroes. Have fun!